I've been avoiding this egg right here because I think it's hatched. Like, why is it cracked like that? Okay, Mr. Noah's breakfast is ready. Those are some big strawberries. Hola, como estas? Como esta mi bebe? You guys, I just have like this vibe going on in the house right now. Just relaxing music on YouTube. I highly recommend it. It's like the most peaceful thing ever. My baby. What do we think about this hair? Uh oh. You okay? Tenemos que cambiar. Mira. ¿Quién está ahí? <laughs> you guys, I wanted to show you my hair. I don't know if I have, but I did get in these extensions that have these like highlights because I don't know, I've just been wanting to go more blonde. So I'm like, I'm just gonna mess with some extensions for fun and see how they look. And I actually really love them. A lot of you guys, uh, I think have been thinking that I dyed my hair because when I first wore them, you guys were like, oh my God, I love the new hair. And I'm like, it's just extensions queen. Also, let me show you this little thing I got. Like if we're gonna get in the fall vibes, look how cute this is. I went to savers the other day and it's just a cute little candle holder <gasps> actually before we leave let me show you this too so i've been just always wondering what to put on these shelves right here and i got this at savers i actually got this at savers too i got those two at savers so this is a cute picture frame and i literally just painted the frame. I'll insert a video here of how it looked. I want to say it was like a mauve. I was not obsessed at all, but I literally, me and Brian both thought that this looked like the Hocus Pocus house. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is such a cute fall frame. And I just had the vision for it. And yep, it looks so cute. And then these were two candle holders that I painted as well with the same paint. And it just looks so cute. I'm like, okay, period. Y'all, the way Brian just like flipped the house upside down looking for my wallet, I called my mom. Like, I just started making the math in my head. I'm like, okay, this day, like I, I use my wallet because sometimes I use my Apple Pay. And tell me why he's over here flipping the car and he just like comes and looks at my diaper bag. I'm like, it's not in there. Like, I already told you. Pulls out my freaking wallet. What the heck, man? I feel like usually this is like switched. Like I'm finding things that he can't find. I don't know what happened there. I swore I checked in here yesterday. Let's do some fall shopping. I came to Michael's yesterday and I was just looking at all the stuff. I'm like, oh my God, this is so cute. And everybody was like, girl, get the stuff now before it actually sells out. I'm here at Michael's. I already got my eye on some stuff. Let's go see what we find, girl. Okay guys, we're here. Okay, guys. No, I think I need to get there. Yesterday at Disneyland, we got him like a little kit with all these monitos. Mm -hmm. But he loves Rex. <laughs> okay, love the fall. Now, this is a type I don't really like. I've never really been into like the Halloween, Halloween stuff. She's just a little too spooky for me. Okay, this is like I don't know what this is giving that one show on Netflix, and I'm not here for it, low key. But I can tell they're going for like the spooky vibes. Oh my goodness! Mm. I'm gonna be real though. Like this year, I I, I feel like the the letters, the happy fall, all that. I'm just not here for it. But like the colors, I am. Every year I fall for pumpkin, bonfire, s'mores, autumn leaves, and you. This is like giving Thanksgiving, right? Okay, we love a turkey. Too soon. Gobble gobble. I think these are so cute. I'm gonna have to just rip this tag off. Like, mm -hmm. it's not it, but I think I'm gonna take it. The little fall tree. You're kidding. <laughs> she had to come back, y'all. Guys, I saw these yesterday <laughs> and they literally caught my eye. I'm gonna take yeah. some. Look what I freaking just found. Like, was I not just showing you the same one that I got at Savers? This is $4.99. Let's say, okay, everything's 40% off. It's $2.99. I need to see how much I paid for it at Savers because that is hilarious. What the heck? Okay, guys, that's a wrap for Michael's. This is all we got. We're not trying to impulsive buy right now. Moment of truth. Two 
$2.99. We just got a few things, but I think we're ready for fall. Hey queens, okay, I got back from the store a few hours ago, clearly it's already nighttime. Let's just be honest for a quick second guys, I really thought I was like, damn, I'm gonna just like let this day go by and I'm not gonna vlog anymore, but I'm feeling fine now. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys what happened earlier. So as I'm exiting the Michaels store, I'm not gonna lie you guys, literally at checkout, I just start getting anxiety and I'm just gonna call it anxiety, call it for what it is because I'm so tired of like constantly trying to diagnose myself. I think I just have like major PTSD I just need to like, not let it take over, girl. I feel like I had like a little anxiety moment at Michael's and I had to like literally almost storm off after because I literally thought I was gonna pass out. Like, <sighs> the girlies that get it, get it. Oh my goodness, it is debilitating. Sometimes I feel like I'm completely fine and then sometimes I have moments like this where I'm like, why do I feel like I'm literally gonna faint right now? So annoying, I don't wanna talk about it anymore because literally like I feel like it was gonna like ruin my day. I'm just Whoa. like, so over it girl i'm so over it i did end up going to Ooh, i kind of don't like how they package this it's kind of scary they just kind of threw it in the bag but i ended up getting the candles that's so weird that they did that because i can like easily scratch up everything <laughs> did you just say how they packaged it oh my god i forgot we did yeah you honey well self-checkout i'm sorry if i had freaking tissue or something i forgot i worked there and i had to do self-checkout oh my gosh no because i might have to return these why because they got scratched stop playing where like where Oh my god, I forgot. People are gonna come over here with a freaking little telescope and be like, mmm, they see scratches. Babe, no, I, I almost forgot that we were doing self checkout. <laughs> I was like, why would they package I it? I forgot that I way? work at Michael's. But it's wax, so they were just in the bag. And because obviously I was having like this whole anxiety attack, I could imagine Brian was just throwing everything in just to get out of there already. But yeah, I ended up getting these two candles, this tall one and this little one. They had like an extra bigger one, but it was way too huge, girl. I'm like, there's just no reason why I need that. So I just thought these would look cute together. I'm gonna figure out how to store this because all of this, I'm not gonna put it out yet. It is way too soon for me, in my personal opinion. I am thriving for all the girlies that are decorating for fall already. Good for you, queen. For me, this feels a little too early. You can never go wrong with candlesticks. I have a couple like little candle holders and I only have white ones. And I feel like white is just too white. So I like these ivory ones. So I got four of these. They were like a dollar and something each. This little thing I ended up getting like literally last minute. It was like right before. So by my sink, I have this like little, it's almost like this, it's wooden, but it's right by my sink and it holds my little hand soap with a little plant. And I was like, I literally went back a couple of times to go look at it. I would pick it up and I was like, no. And then I put it back and then like I'd pick it up again and I was like, I just had to go back and get it, okay? Everything I think for the most part, most things, except the candlesticks were like 40% off if I'm not mistaken so I just thought this was cute to just have like by the kitchen and have like my habon that's it my habon it's like where I put my rings and then I ended up getting this cute pumpkin how cute and then Brian got some super glue for I don't know what the vase that broke and then I oh, forgot okay I ended up getting this pumpkin the one that has like the little thankful thing on top I'm definitely gonna remove this like not a fan of this at all but I love the pumpkin I'm gonna have so many pumpkins this year for no reason at all because I have so much fall stuff in my storage bins already And then I saw this one while I was gonna go back for this and I was like, oh my goodness It's so cute. I didn't even see it. They had them displayed like all the way like it was the last bottom row I'm like no one's gonna buy these like no one's even seen these and they're so cute that's all I got there. I want to say the total was like 70 something dollars. I think another place I do want to take you guys with me is Savers. I feel like Savers has a lot of cute like antique or just any. I, I just want to go to like a thrift store. But I feel like anytime the only place I really go to is Savers because that's the one that's near us. That they'll have like even Christmas stuff in which I also should start like getting smarter and getting Christmas stuff too because by the time Christmas hits it's like 
is it really gonna be there you know so that's what i'm gonna do for like the fall stuff literally the only reason why i felt inspired today to go shopping was because i had posted on my stories and i was like oh you know there's so many cute fall stuff but it's too soon and everybody was like who cares if it's too soon girl just get the stuff now and it's so true because i feel like anytime i go shopping for fall that's when all the good things are already sold out because everybody's already like in the mindset of like going to purchase so girl if you're thinking of it maybe you should go get your stuff now you heard it here first girl you guys we just got here to the candle supply store we are gonna get some things that we need we're hoping to launch the fall candles i'm excited because i feel like i haven't been here in a minute and they recently like i guess a year ago changed locations because brian always comes out by himself i always used to come with him when i was pregnant with noah but once we had noah like i feel like he just kind of like took more charge of all that so i haven't been coming and i'm like where are we pulling up it's a whole different location but i'm excited to see what they have it's pretty interesting they have you know the oils waxes containers just everything that you need to like make candles it's pretty iconic also i feel like it's feeling like fall it doesn't feel too hot today oh i'm excited for fall candles i'm excited oh i think falls off it. what he's got this cake pop all over him should we wipe him down a little bit um get a wiping can you guys tell like we moved up to the front. Did you guys notice? I can't believe it. It's been amazing. I feel like I have my freedom. Ah. Okay, guys, we're back. Right now I'm doing laundry. Like, my dining table is so full. I've just kind of gotten used to doing my laundry in my dining table. Let me know what's your area where you do your laundry because I just feel like I need a big space where I just can lay everything out, fold everything, and then take it upstairs. I used to do everything upstairs, but it was just a hassle. Like, I don't know. Fun fact, I also even have like my fall stuff that we got the other day. I'm debating if I'm gonna put them in some bins and put them away until I'm ready to decorate for fall or just slowly like put things out because I just did a couple days ago my coffee station and I'm obsessed with it, it's like right here. I just thought it was like perfect because I've seen people do coffee stations. I normally had my little coffee station in the kitchen but I've seen people do it like in their dining rooms and I just thought it was like the cutest thing ever. I'm obsessed, it was such an easy project. Everything that I used I already had and this is like the only area where I fully have like decorated for fall and it's still not like something I would do I would still add more to it I just fall I just want to go crazy okay so this is like cute cute little touch but I'm thinking of doing more everything though that is giving very like spring summer I'm putting away but let me show you the coffee station this is my coffee station isn't she so cute? This is one of the candles from the warm collection. But look at the wicks because I'm using this warmer. Every time I turn it on, it just slowly melted in, I guess. But how cute is this watch? It is literally the cutest thing ever. I'm obsessed with it. And then we have our little humps up here. I use French vanilla a lot more. I haven't tried this one out though. This is caramel. I used to have hazelnut and i wasn't obsessed with it so i switched it out we'll see if we like that and then we just have a regular sugar and coffee with a keurig this is like my favorite part from this transformation i added a frame here this is like my fall decor just the mugs and the pumpkin i forgot to update you guys when we got out of the out of the candle supply store we did end up purchasing just a couple more items because i believe we're out of strawberry fields the worm collection had launched early on it was like kind of a summer collection but we didn't necessarily name it a summer collection i didn't want to just like attach it to summer because truly i feel like all these candles you can use them year round but we are out of strawberry fields so brian just went ahead and stocked up on what he needed to make that candle i'm going to show you guys though because i don't think i've showed you guys on the vlog channel so i'm going to show you guys the candles because they're so freaking cute we did end up launching them a little bit later on online because the first time we launched it was at the pop-up in person and you know we had to obviously restock 
restock and that just took some time so we did launch it a little bit like late in the summer which is totally fine like i said these are very like year-round candles but with that being said we're also going to be stocking up really soon on the fall collection just because i know all the girlies are into the fall season already so it's like why wait till fall starts like i'd rather just like have them come out now so let me show you the candles okay so it's three candles i feel like for every collection we try to do just three candles i think only for the christmas collection we did four. First one is midnight blossom i don't know if you guys have smelled the scent from bath and body works cherry blossom it's giving very that i feel like this is a candle that i honestly do have lit up the most it's just <laughs> i don't like to choose favorites but i feel like it is my favorite like if you were to just step into my home this is one i always have on i just love it and i feel like this is like such a good year like whole yearly candle no matter what season i would still put this on during fall during christmas like literally any season i'm obsessed with it it's kind of hard to tell on camera but the vase is actually like a champagne and even the label is not fully white it's kind of like a cream like a beige color it's very very demure very mindful of me because i know you girlies you girlies love like aesthetically pleasing things i feel like with these candles i really do uh think about all the girlies that like are into home decor and stuff and what's gonna look cute on your counter and i just love this it's not transparent like it's literally a champagne vase with a beige label and of course like always the font is gold it's so cute and we even also included some notes on the labels rose cherry blossom and amber okay the next one is the popular queen herself strawberry fields she smells incredible oh my gosh I, I i can't get over it i feel like with strawberry fields your house literally smells like strawberries it's giving like strawberry shortcake it's sweet strawberry vanilla and citrus I'm obsessed with it and it's not a shocker that it's like the number one seller. I'm obsessed with her. She's gorgeous. And last but not least, this is Paradise Sun Showers. Paradise Sun Showers was definitely more like tropical. It's giving vacation. This candle, like if you just want to feel like you are on an island vacationing, having the time of your life, like this is the candle girl. Notes for Paradise Sun Showers, pineapple, coconut, and banana you can just imagine just hearing those scents like what do you think it smells like it smells like like a piña colada almost it smells so freaking good so pretty i wish i could show you the fall candles just because they're so gorgeous but i don't know if we have any right now in stock at all but those are so beautiful you can go on the Papa Shinko instagram they're beautiful we really want to get more on the candles just because i know you know sometimes we restock but you guys know like for the holidays we really go in because we just i love the holidays i love the seasons like fall obviously that's a big one and definitely by the time you're watching this the strawberry fields is restocked so we'll have that link in the bio for you guys but this mom i gotta put laundry away girl because i have i'm backed up in so much laundry like my dining table is like full of clothes so okay let's let's get going girl I just got in these chair covers i'm not obsessed these chairs when i had purchased them they came with a chair cover but with time you know with washing and stuff i messed them up i put them in the dryer and you can imagine they shrank and it was always so difficult to put them back on the chair but the chair covers were so cute they literally didn't look like you were just purposely covering the chair if that makes sense i feel like this is giving like i'm just covering the chair I thought it was so cute online, but you know online it always looks different. So I ordered six of them. I only put three up and I was like, let me just see how it looks. And I just don't like it. So I think we're going to have to go to like Ikea, which is fine because I've been wanting to go do some more shopping. So we'll see what we find there. Okay guys, we're here. I always love the showrooms. 
How cute, babe, look, it reminds me of my coffee station. Like, how cute is this? Look how little this chair is. Noah! Hola! <laughs> That's actually so cute. Like, I would get that for Noah. Noah! No, they have a kid section. They'll, like, have, like, little stuff. Wow. Like, even the built-in, so... <gasps> Stop. Even the wallpaper. I think I found what I'm looking for. I think these are the covers. This is... No way. Chair with long cover. Oh, okay. Okay, the cover's 20. Okay, this section is pretty cool because if you did want to create like some kind of rack in your kitchen, like a little coffee station with your mugs or anything like that, you can literally customize here. Didn't we buy our first dining table here? Yeah. When we had just got married? It was kind of like that one. It was little. This is so cute, like you just get inspo. Not really my style, something I would go for, but this would look so cute in a home. I feel like if you're into this like vibe. Okay, so far this is the only Halloween spooky vibes we see. I kind of want to get like little things for the table. Oh, these are kind of cute. Yeah, little mats. What do you think, babe? I kind of like it because I've had the circles for a really long time. And I feel like you can't put your drink on the circle one. And this one, you're kind of like, you don't necessarily need a coaster because it's like this. I kind of like it, babe. Is there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they have different kinds. You want to see them? Uh, that one's short. You see how that's short? Is this a long one right here? No. That's short. Oh, Y'all, the hassle we just <laughs> went through. Yeah, so these are the ones that, if you guys could see the little picture. They're short and they're long. It's the little short one. Like, legs are still showing. And but I wanted the long. These are the long. But uh -huh. these were like all the way pushed out in the back. And some other short ones were covering them. I feel maybe someone was like, we'll come back for them. Ooh. Like hide them in the back. We just got some in and out. If you've listened to the podcast, I have very much been open about it not being like... I'm not obsessed with it, but I feel like people kind of get it wrong sometimes. Like, I'll still eat it. She's a queen. King. She's a king? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Fucking okay, roll with you. So, we ended up getting the slipcovers, and we also got the little... Oh, I didn't end up going with the other little... What are they even called? Plate mats or something? Yeah, the little mats. My centerpiece that I have on my dining table is oval. So I was like, oh, that's actually going to be like too much ovals on the table. So I'm glad I kind of caught that quick. But I got a burger. I don't know what this. He wants fries. I got no tomato. Mm. The mukbang king himself. Um, I will never understand how you don't like this. It's not that I don't like it, babe. I'm just not like obsessed, you know? So don't get it. I have my blue light glasses on. Well, these are like my my night glasses. Like I don't wear glasses. It's my blue light glasses for at nighttime, like before I go to bed. But today I was like, I'm not wearing makeup. Like, let me just throw them on. I kind of was expecting to see like decor well there was decor but i was expecting to see like ikea's not more of decor though it's more like furniture pieces oh yeah stuff. no but they have like decor stuff but i was expecting i guess to see did like, they give you a fork i was expecting to see like fall stuff i guess i don't know if it's crazy of me to assume that they would have fall stuff they did have some like spooky stuff and maybe like a, a couple pumpkins but there wasn't much so i kind of want to maybe stop by somewhere like a target or something or walmart i heard walmart is stepping up their game so we could still do just a couple more shopping right now because the closer we're getting to september like the hype is getting so real so i'm just gonna go probably look at a couple more things um yeah maybe walmart we'll do walmart just because i was expecting to get some fall stuff today but it's okay we still walked out with a couple things wow okay walmart you are stepping it up girl even like this is so cute these little velvety pumpkins okay these are kind of cute too i'm a little bit weirded out about the stem okay I'm kind of obsessed with these because the stem is normal they have this like cream like i guess white and then they have this cute like light green i think i'm gonna stick to my oranges but i think i'm gonna do one of these maybe for like the couch or something noah's been obsessed with jack-o'-lanterns i don't know why 
pumpkins, but I just, in general, I feel like the jack o' lanterns, I think it's like the face on it that he's yeah. attracted to it. So I actually cannot wait to decorate for, decorate for Halloween just for him. But he got his little pumpkin. You're gonna love it. ¿Te gusta, mi amor? This wow. is cool because yeah, it is exactly, I mean, it, it is has it? like little dog treats, oh. but when he's done with it, like for him to trick or treat with it, oh, that's I get the so little pumpkin. Cute. Pull it, pull it. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It scared me a little bit. Ah. I'm dead. <laughs> I see a lot of green this year. Even like the little signs has that little touch, which honestly looks really cute mixed in with the orange. Okay, I kind of like these right here because I feel like you can just throw them in anywhere and you're just like done. I feel like this is going to be cute for like my coffee station or somewhere in the kitchen where I have like a little vase or something just to throw in. You guys, how cute is this runner for my kitchen? I'm in the home decor area and this actually caught my eye. It's so cute. I feel like I would probably use this like to hold my rings. Cute. This is really cute. It's not necessarily fall, but I feel like it's giving the fall colors. I'm gonna take this, you guys. It's giving fall. Okay guys, we're back home. Honestly, we just got a few things. I feel like mainly I was focusing on things for the dining room, but let's just get the fall stuff out of the way that I got at Walmart. I definitely got the pumpkin because I don't know, I just thought she was super cute. I got this as well. This was super cute. I'm not a fan of like the stem. I ended up getting this, it just has pumpkins. You could put it honestly anywhere. I am trying to like not do too much, like too much of like the bright oranges. I feel like I'm trying to do more of the the warm vibe, but I just couldn't pass this. Oh, this is what I didn't show you. I got a runner for the dining table. This is 90 inches. My dining table is 96, no, 86 inches long. This is what I have just in my dining table. This was just a little pack. I got it off Target and it's supposed to be scented. This runner that I have here, it's basically like almost white and it always gets like super, super stained. So I'm excited to try something different because I feel like I've had this for a really long time. This is cute, babe. The runner? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's looking like a track star. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this with your tables, but this happened to us. I think there was like an oil spill. I always like to cover it up, but I need to get it fixed. I just love that this kind of like almost does all of it though. Okay, this is the before of the covers. These are the ones that I ordered and I'm not obsessed with. So we're going to try out the other ones and see the difference. Okay guys, this is the chairs. It's kind of growing on me. <gasps> okay. I love the runner, love the little mats. Honestly, it's kind of growing on me. I kind of like it. I feel like this would not be like a proper video if I just didn't do something fall. I know I showed you guys the coffee station that we did a little bit of spooky. Give me just a couple weeks, okay? And I'm gonna go crazy. But just to finish off, we're gonna throw this cute pumpkin. I feel like it almost ties in with like the chair covers. It's giving very that vibe. So I think we're gonna throw her right here. Stop, it's so cute. That ladies is my dining room. Okay, it's so cute. Don't mind all the cables right here. What do you guys do to hide the cables? This is where our Wi-Fi box is, so oof. I need to get that situated ASAP, but I'm living for the vibes. I can't wait to decorate more for fall, girl, because y'all know this is not it. It's just, just the beginning, okay? But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Happy fall. Ah, it's not even fall yet. Happy harvest. Ah, like, what is the reason? I'll see y'all in the next one. What is me with, uh, like, what?